look what has arrived it's as tall as me and it's a replacement tree so super excited to see how it looks inside let's open it up I always find this kind of thing so funny there it is <laughs> it's like half the size that you expect when you see the great big box but of course it's the size I've bought and it's a good size too it's just about to go dormant it looks really good though look at that nice little shape to him it is a Victoria plum and I already do have one but it got killed um, when we had builders here doing the roof, they did manage to damage a few plants. Not too many, they were very good and very careful, but the Victoria Plum was one that got killed. And it was really sad because the main thing is, of course, you're sad that the plant dies, but it's also all the time you put into it. It takes ages for it to start properly fruiting. It can take like two or three years from the time you put it in the ground for it to start producing a little bit of fruit. I think in our second year we had one plum, then the third we had two plums and then finally we had a great big nice sizable harvest and then it died so <laughs> i'm gonna start from scratch again it's supposed to be a dwarf rootstock so it should be really good to grow in a pot it's actually a patio plum let's get it out before it tips over so here it is all unwrapped look how beautiful it is it's such a nice shape and next to it we have the Victoria Plum that was killed by the builders. When I say killed, it does actually have a little bit of life down here. So we'll have to see what happens. Maybe it'll wake up, but you can see all the other branches are completely died off. There were even some little plums that really tried to push out. But yeah, I just think it got completely ill because it got crushed and broken a bit during the build. And um, I think that made it have an infection and killed it. So. I was quite keen to get a new replacement as quick as possible because Victoria plums are such great pollination partners for other plums and I had gotten this one here this is a Swedish grown plum so I know it's extra hardy it's called Violetta as you can see and it is just a beautiful one it's supposed to be a good heavy cropper as well and yeah it, strangely enough it says self-fertile on it even though when I read it when I read up about it, it said that it needed a pollination partner and that Victoria was a great one. So I planted them really close together because they're both dwarfs and I thought they could just um, support each other and cross pollinate easily. But of course, with the Victoria dying, we needed a new one. And also the Victoria is also very important for my other plums over here. I've got two green gauges, which are also very, very dwarf. You can see this one is tiny. It got a bit snapped too when the builders were here um, and it was supposed to be able to flower and fruit the year after planting it but I think it got set back a bit so we haven't had any fruit yet but it does need a pollination partner and again it needs the Victoria plum so yeah really important to have one which is also why I was a bit upset when the Victoria plum died on me but hopefully it will grow quickly now and maybe the Violetta can also cross pollinate the green gauge. I have another green gauge, which because they're so pixie rootstock and so dwarf, I have one in a pot. Let me just show you. This one here is also a green gauge and you can see it looks so much better than the in-ground one. So I have a feeling that this one might well flower next year, even if the other one doesn't. Soon we can probably see some little fruit buds if it's going to flower but I'm not in any rush because it does need that Victoria plum there or maybe it, again it can use the Violetta we will see time will tell there's nothing much to do when plants suddenly die <laughs> but you can just do your best to try to keep them healthy this is such a lovely one it's actually done so well this year crazily I have some lovely muscari down in the pot too so it looks so pretty in the sort of late winter when the muscari comes up but yes apart from the fact that the victoria plum is such a useful pollination partner it's also such a reliable one it's been around here in the uk for so many years i think since the 1840s so we just know it works well in our climate and 
I am so happy to have this little guy here. I'm going to find a nice little pot for him as soon as I can and get him all settled in. And we'll see how he looks next spring. I'm not counting my chickens. I'm not expecting any flowers just yet, like next spring. But maybe in two years or so, we'll get some. So that's really lovely. Thank you for watching. I hope you found this interesting. And hopefully I'll be able to show you some updates next year of how this little plum is settling in, hopefully well. See you next time. Bye for now.